With the past one and a half months of family visits, everything is now ready to return back to normal. It is time to reset the house, to plan a week full of yummy meals ahead. We have absolutely loved every minute spent with family these past few weeks, but now we are back to our routine. And the best way to get back into our routines is by prepping our weekly batches of fresh juices. Today I am combining the juice of beets, apples and ginger for one of the juices, and carrots, apples and ginger for the other one. And as the summer season is coming to an end, the sun has now moved its direction, so the backside terrace doesn't have the full sun anymore. It is shifting back to the front side of the house, so it was time to clean up the little pool to make space for cozy lounge afternoons and evenings out here. Meanwhile, Kobe's favorite little stuffed animals needed some repairs and a good wash. After a few hours of patiently waiting and regularly checking up on them, he finally got reunited and was so happy. So I'm going to be starting a little experiment. I want to try to grow our own tomatoes by placing one of these into some uh, ground, into some terra. See if we can grow our own tomatoes. It will take a long while, but we have time. So let's give this a try. my first ever time trying to grow tomatoes from tomatoes. I have watched some videos on this so fingers crossed it will work out well. There will be a follow-up step to this but for now I'm trying to grow the little seedlings so that I can replant them and grow them into actual tomatoes. I also planted a little herb garden. I'm starting small with just a few of them. And if everything goes well, I can always add more later. It is very rare that we find a whole bush of these herbs at the markets here. So therefore I'd love to be able to grow them myself. For some reason they are always out of these products. So this will be perfect. Then I decided to give red pepper a try. Our neighbor showed us that it is super easy and you can just use the seeds from a pepper you already have and it will grow slowly. We then enjoyed the lovely fresh soup full of veggies that my sweet fiance prepared for us. It was so nourishing and tasty. Exactly what I was craving after starting our little garden. Back inside I chopped up some apples so they'll be easy to grab as a snack or as a topping for breakfast. Topping them with cinnamon, filling the kitchen with this most wonderful scent. Storing away some of our fresh market finds. And 
finally chopping up some carrots. I find that we gravitate towards these fresh fruits and veggies with much more ease and more frequently when they are visibly on display and pre-washed and chopped in the fridge. Thank you for spending this time with me and for slowing down together. Até a próxima! See you next time!